What the hell is going on? That is what I'm thinking, that's what I'm feeling. As I look at this new Doctor Who news, Russell T Davies to return as Doctor Who showrunner. This is not a meme, this is not a joke, this is 100% real. If you go to the official Doctor Who Twitter account, you will see a link to this article. This is true, this is happening, and it's insane. I have many thoughts here. The first of which is, what? <laughs> I mean, I'm not even sure if this is good news or this is bad news. My thoughts are a little bit layered in terms of what I like about it and what I don't. But let's go through the article real quick, just so that we know exactly what's going on. I've already gone through it off screen, but... Russell T. Davies says, I am beyond excited to be back on my favorite show, but we are time traveling too fast. There's a whole new series of Jodie Whittaker's brilliant doctor for me to enjoy with my friend and hero Chris Chibnall at the helm. I'm still a viewer for now. So that's true. There's more Doctor Who ahead of us before Russell T. Davies returns, but when he does return, as we see here, it will be to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who and a series beyond. Whether or not he will stay longer, who knows, but he is doing at least one series after the 60th anniversary, so his return to screens is going to be in 2023, November 23rd. And what that means is that, first of all, we're getting almost no Doctor Who over the course of a long period of time. We're getting six episodes this year, three specials next year, and then one special the following year at the very end. So there's very little actual Doctor Who content we're going to be getting literally over the course of the next two years, which is unfortunate given that we haven't had much Doctor Who content since series 12, really over a year and a half ago. But setting that aside just for the second, Russell T. Davies is returning to the show. Now, here's what I think. I love Russell T. Davies as a creative person. I have really enjoyed his work on Doctor Who. I think he's very talented. I don't think he's god and can do no wrong, as some people believe, but I do think he is a very talented person who has created some excellent Doctor Who that I still rewatch and enjoy many times to this day. And having said all of that lovely stuff about Russell T. Davies as a TV creative, what I will say is that I don't necessarily agree with the choice to be moving backwards and picking somebody as the next showrunner who has already worked on the show and who has already given their all to this and made it theirs. To go back to Russell T. Davies after having gone to two new showrunners is a little odd to me, frankly, because we have only had three Doctor Who showrunners in the modern era of the show, and then picking Russell T. Davies, getting him to come back, is just very strange to me because it means that we are moving backwards and going to somebody who has already worked on the show and like I said already given it his all. So it's a bit of an odd thing because as much as I am a big fan of Russell T Davies and honestly I genuinely look forward to seeing what he does with the special and the series beyond, I do feel a little bit odd about the fact that we are not getting a new person to work on the show. Now, odds are he won't stay on for that long. It says 2023 and a series beyond. Maybe he'll opt to stay for another year or two, or maybe he'll stop it there. But he probably won't be staying on for, you know, five years like Chibnall did. So I suspect it's not going to be a huge interruption in terms of the flow of who is the next showrunner and how the show moves on from there, but it's definitely a bit of an odd blip to go back to somebody who already left, who already made lots of great episodes. I mean, like I said, I feel conflicted about this because I am so very fond of his Doctor Who that he has made, but I just don't agree with the choice to be moving backwards. But there's not really much I can do about that now, because what's happening is what's happening. There's nothing to be done, the choice has been made, so I'm not going to complain too much, even though I don't personally think it is the right call to make. And I'll just say this, I look forward to what he makes, I suspect to enjoy it, I'm definitely going to watch it, and I hope it's great. And I also look forward to the other nine episodes of Doctor Who that we're going to get over the course of 2021 and 2022 before he actually returns. 
but this really is some massive news because this is not something that happens like at all there aren't really cases of somebody leaving the show and then coming back to it to show run after having already show run for a few years i mean that doesn't really happen at least in the modern era so it's definitely strange to me I mean, at the end of the day, he is a talented man, and I look forward to seeing what he has to do. There's also one more aspect to this, which is that bringing back somebody who has already worked on the show to show run again after Chris Chibnall, to me, reads as kind of a panic move. That's just how it reads. I'm not saying it necessarily is, or that it was influenced by any backlash to Chibnall and his era of the show, but that is how it reads after having brought in Chibnall and then to go back to somebody who has been more universally loved, at least right now. I'm not saying that he was universally loved when his era was airing, but he is somebody that people point to when they don't like this era and say, look how great Russell did it. So I'm excited to see what he does with the show. But yeah, that's just how it reads to me. By going back to somebody who was on the show before, after this era, it feels a little bit like a panic move to try to rejuvenate something in the fan to try to do something. I could be entirely wrong. I don't know. It's also possible they want something a little bit more like it was with the David Tennant era of the show. I don't really know why these decisions were made. What I do know is that they were made. And while I am not entirely happy with them, I certainly look forward to seeing what the man does with the show and what we are going to get for the special in just over two years, in about 26 months. So this is not happening anytime soon. I mean, we're talking about something because it is breaking news, but this is not something we really have to concern ourselves with too much because we have nine more episodes under Chris Chibnall before we even get the 60th anniversary special which yes as I said means man there is so little Doctor Who coming out I mean it makes it a little bit easier for me because I'm reviewing classic Who and I'm really busy but Jesus this show comes out so slowly I don't complain too much because you know I get it TV is just made that way these days but it is what it is what are your thoughts on this breaking news how does it read to you to have Russell T Davies be picked as the showrunner after having already done it for a few years. I would love to know your thoughts. Just keep them respectful. Don't be a horrible person or something like that. And having said all that, I was supposed to be editing a different video, so I'm going to get back to editing that video after this one's done. And I hope to see you around soon for more Doctor Who reviews and rankings. I should have a Season 13 review on the way shortly, followed by some Series 13 reviews whenever that starts. We haven't had any news about when that's actually going to start, have we? So hopefully we get some of that soon and I will be able to talk about it. So I hope to see you around for some of that in the future, but if not, that is totally cool. So long as you know that I appreciate your time here today. And with that said, thank you very much for watching. Take care and have a lovely week.